Hey guys, Harsh Harsh here, and as by the title of the video presents, I'm here to do my complete Marvel Blu-ray and DVD collection. So, let me take a drink here first. Delicious chocolate milk, because I'm a child at heart. Alright, so, I am missing a few titles um, from this being complete. My goal originally was to make this a complete American uh, Blu-ray, DVD, Marvel collection, anything that America has released. Unfortunately, there's a couple items in here that I didn't know were Canadian releases when I bought them. Uh, but that's what it is, oh well. And at some point I would actually just like to own everything regardless of where it's coming from because I do have an all-region free Blu-ray DVD player. Um, so that's not really an issue. But I'll get there one day. But what I am missing from the American run is I'm missing Big Hero 6, the animated series, um, which is I think is just a compilation of a few of their episodes. And then I'm missing... Uh, I'm missing a couple of cuts of some movies. Um, that doesn't bother me all that much. And I'm missing uh, Men in Black... The animated series, they released one season on DVD, so I'm missing that. And a show called Mutant X, which isn't really a Marvel product, but it's produced by Marvel Studios, so it's not based off of any Marvel comic. It's just produced by Marvel Studios, and those are out of print, so I don't have those. But anyway, let me take another drink of this chocolate milk, and then we'll dive right into it. Alright, so, starting off, we have... Agent of Carter, the first season. I've only seen the first two episodes of this. I found it kind of boring and I never continued. And they didn't release season two in America yet. Um, maybe I'll pick up uh, the UK copy or something at some point. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season one. Um, watched it. It's rough, uh, but it's alright. I, I, I enjoyed it. And then we got Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2 on DVD. Uh, I got halfway through this, and then I started watching Agent Carter, because that's how they aired it. And I thought, maybe that's how I should watch it. Um, I enjoyed the second season quite a bit, and then I didn't finish Agent Carter, so I never got back to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And unfortunately, that's all that's been released in America. So, yay. Oh, well. Um, like I said, I'll, I'll probably pick up the rest of the show at some point. Um, if there was like a sale over on the UK sets and I've got the money, I might might snag the rest of that show. I think they're on like season six or five. Up next, we have Ant Man. Uh, really enjoy this movie. It was a fun time. Oh, it's nothing important there. Just a black case. But I enjoyed Ant Man. I like Ant Man. And then I got this on Black Friday recently for $15, and then I stole the code for like seven. So I bought this for like eight bucks. Ant Man and the Wasp, the sequel. Really enjoyed this in a theater. Um, I think I enjoyed the first one a little bit more, but not gonna lie, I enjoyed the heck out of this one. So, oh, I was gonna show you the, the artwork on that disc. Since it had his artwork. But yeah. Ant-Man and the Wasp. With that nice lenticular slipcover. Which is, I prefer this artwork over all the other artworks. Yep. Crack my back. Alright. Moving on, we have The Avengers, the first one. Absolutely love that film. Everybody knows it. Avengers Age of Ultron. Honestly, I like it a little bit more than the first one. But that's just me. The first one's still really good. Personal opinion. Don't hate. And then uh, the ever so great Avengers Infinity War. Um, absolutely loved this one as well. So, and I got my grandpa a copy of this uh, on Black Friday for for uh, Christmas. Jeez. Sorry, I'm just super thirsty. And really hungry right now. So I chose to sit down and do a video. Up next, Ultimate Avengers, the movie. 
that's all right. The second one, which is just Ultimate Avengers 2 Rise of the Panther. Another all right film. And I haven't gotten to this one yet. Next Avengers Heroes of Tomorrow. I'll get to it at some point. Avengers Confidential, Black Widow, and Punisher. Like, I'd actually like to get all those rebought and on Blu-ray if possible. Um, I'd like to upgrade everything to Blu-ray, but I'm happy to at least have it in some form. Because then I can at least watch it. This is the Canadian uh, Blu-ray. I thought this was American when I bought it. Oh, well. Avengers, The Earth's Mighty Zero Season 1 and Season 2. Such a great show. I It's a fun time. If you haven't seen it, watch it. And then we got Avengers Assemble. Assembly Required. This is the Disney show. It's I've seen bits of it. I haven't watched this release yet. But apparently it comes with decals. I, yeah, I haven't watched this release yet, but it's... The show is okay. That's all I gotta say. We got Big Hero 6. Um, absolutely love this film. This has got to be one of my favorite Disney films. Um, just a lot of heartfelt moments. And like I said, I don't have the, the, the animated series that they've been making recently. I also got this for my grandpa um, for Black Friday. Black Panther. Um, absolutely enjoyed this film. Not my favorite. I don't think it's as good as everybody else says, but not going to lie, I had a great time at the theater with this. So Then we got the Black Panther motion comic. I haven't checked this out yet. I've had it for four years now, but I'll get to it at some point, I'm sure. And then uh, another set, I would love to upgrade the Blade Trilogy with Blades 1, 2, my personal favorite, and Trinity, which is a wreck. Um, yeah, I'd like to get these on, on Blu-ray, so. Let me get, which I, I found them on Blu-ray, though, for like $6. I didn't pick it up. I don't know why. We have Blade the Series. I got like halfway through this show. I didn't finish it. I'll finish it at some point, um, but I got plenty to watch. And I've got it on hand. And this is something I've really been wanting to check out which is Blade the Anime. So, really looking forward to checking this out. That's one stack out of like the six or seven. Up next, we're moving on to The Man with the Shield, Captain America. This is like, like 1930 or 19, late 30s or early 40s um, movie serial. I've watched it, it's all right. A bit of me thinks this is a bootleg. I really don't know, I bought it off of Amazon through Amazon itself. It wasn't like a third party. It was it was through Amazon. Um, but a bit of me thinks that this is just such a cheap release and kind of clunkily put together. Um, I don't know. We got Captain America and Captain America Death Too Soon. Uh, they're cheesy fun. I like the second one a little bit more, but they're just cheesy fun. We got Captain America, the 1990s film. I have a great time with this. I really enjoy it. It's not great, but you know what? I like it. It's the disc on that, and then this also has a has, has a disc art. In case you wanted to know. Then we got Captain America the First Avenger. And then Captain America the Winter Soldier. Is this a disc art? No. I actually have not seen this in a few years, but I think it's an underrated, the first one. And then the second one, which is a phenomenal film. And then we've got Captain America Civil War, which I had a great time in the theater with. Kind of wish somebody would have died, though. Not going to lie. Moving on, we have the blind man himself, Daredevil. This is the director's cut. Uh, a bit of an underrated Marvel film. I enjoy it a lot myself, personally. But Daredevil with Ben Affleck. It's not great, but I enjoy it. And then we have the ever so cancelled series, Daredevil, season one. This is that Netflix series. And season two on Blu-ray. Um I enjoy both of the first season both first two seasons. I haven't seen the third one yet. And I don't really have Netflix right now. And 
I don't know. I'm hoping that they'll still release Season 3, and I'm still waiting for them to release, like, Iron Fist Season 1 on Blu-ray here in America, and Jessica Jones Season 2, Defenders, The Punisher, the second season of Iron Fist, and Luke Cage. Still waiting for those titles to be released. So I think the last one released was Luke Cage, and that was a year ago. I think it's about time we get some of the other ones now. Anyway, Deadpool, first one, love that. And the second one, I prefer the second one a little bit more. Doctor Strange, I am in love with Benedict Cumberbatch. I swear to God, I've enjoyed everything he's been in. He's always had a stellar performance, and this is just another... Great performance, and, and he, he owns this role. So glad he was cast. And this is like the 3D Blu-ray DVD plus digital HD combo pack. Ah. And we got the Doctor Strange TV pilot. I haven't checked that one out yet. And then Doctor Strange the animated movie. This is this is a this is great, guys. If you if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. I enjoy the animation and the story. Unlike the other Marvel movies, animated movies, oh, granted, I've only seen like three of the eight um, or four of the eight. This is definitely my favorite. I haven't seen the Hulk ones yet, so we got this monstrosity, Electra, uh, terrible movie. We have the motion comic Eternals, which they're getting a movie. We got the extended edition of Fantastic Four, which comes with two discs. Kind of cool. I haven't seen the extended cut yet. I've only seen the theatrical. I'll get around to this at some point. Be nice if they were to release that on Blu-ray. But what we do have on Blu-ray is the first one, and the second one, and the fan four stick. This is the one from like 2015 or something. I don't you know, it's not great, but I like it. I, I find it underrated. Then we have Fantastic Four, the 1990 series. I haven't yet to check that out. Although I've seen the one episode that Daredevil's in. And then we've got the complete series, even though this is the complete first season. Um, they didn't make a second season that I'm aware of. And that's Fantastic Four, World's Greatest Heroes. And it's got a very anime look to it. Um, I haven't checked this out yet, but... I'm excited to though. Moving on, we have the Ghost Rider Collection 1 and 2. Uh, cheesy fun. Um, I got this at a pawn shop. Oh, this is the extended cut of the first one. So, uh, I like the first one. The second one was boring. So, I've only seen the second one once. And then we have an acquisition that I've been wanting since it came out, and Walmart had it for a good price. Gifted, the complete first season. I've yet to check this show out. I hear it's great. It's getting a second season, so I'm definitely going to check it out at some point, like I will with all of this, um, but this is higher up on the list. There was a Blu-ray of it. I, I had a pre-order Blu-ray from Amazon, but then it got canceled, so I don't know what that's about. Guardians of the Galaxy. That's the first one. Not as I'm not as much of a fan of that one as everybody else, but I did enjoy the second one quite a bit. We got Howard the Duck, that weird movie. And then we are moving on to the Hulk. We have Ang Lee's Hulk. And then an underrated one, The Incredible Hulk. I enjoyed this film. It's underrated. Then we have Hulk versus. This is Hulk versus Thor and Hulk versus Wolverine. I haven't checked that out yet. And then we have Planet Hulk, which I really want to check out, but I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, well. I'll get to it. We have The Incredible Hulk, the first season, the second season, the third season. With the, I love that lenticularness. The fourth season, and the fifth season. Now, oh, I guess I'll show. Oh, no, I'll talk about those. I enjoy those. Um, I've seen the whole show in its entirety through these DVDs. Got these DVDs on Amazon for a stellar deal. 
And I don't know if I'll ever actually revisit the show as a whole. I don't think I could ever sit through it and watch it all again. Um, but I did enjoy watching it. It's just, it's a very repetitive show. The, the formula is the same in almost every single episode. I like things to be different. We got the Bill, uh, the Bill Bixby, Lou Ferrigno in two movies, The Incredible Hulk Returns and The Trial of the Incredible Hulk, which one has Daredevil and one has, or one has Thor, one has Daredevil. I enjoy those. And then we have the end of the series, Death of the Incredible Hulk. And last but not least, 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 we have the Incredible Hulk animated series. So, or this is like, no, I shouldn't say the animated series. This is like the first two or three episodes, I think, compiled into like a movie. And then it also includes um, a couple episodes from the uh, original 1966 series. It would be nice to have the other stuff on DVD, the other animated series, but oh well. Silver Surfer would love to have on DVD. Um, maybe I'll get it. UK. Uh, Inhumans. Uh, this is the motion comic. I don't think the TV series has been released to DVD, and honestly, they probably won't because it was trash from what I heard. Iron Man. Loved Iron Man. Iron Man 2, my least favorite MCU film. And Iron Man 3. Um, underrated. We have Iron Man, the or the Invincible Iron Man. Um, good movie. Uh, not my favorite, but that's one of those of the four I've seen of the animated movies. Iron Man Rise of Technovore, which is an anime. Haven't seen that. Iron Man and Hulk Heroes United. I watched this. I did not like it. And it's, it's weird CG animation. And there's a second one. Iron Man and Captain America. But as far as I know, they haven't released that to DVD. Then we have the 1994 Iron Man series. Animated series. Glad to have that. And then we have the Iron Man, the complete season one Iron Man Armored Adventures. I watched this entire show. Loved the first season. And the second season was really good. Then we have the Iron Man anime, which I haven't watched yet. A lot of this I haven't watched. And Iron Man Extremis. Watched this. Enjoyed it. Just a good motion comic. Continuing on, we have... Jessica Jones, I love, I don't know if you can see it that well, but David Tennant in that, oh my gosh, what a great performance. This is on, I, I believe it's on par with his doctor performance in, as a 10th doctor. Um, but I absolutely love Jessica Jones. The first season was fantastic. Um, they do a lot of great stuff. I have yet to see the second season, um, but I hope even if it's bad, I still hope it comes to Blu-ray and DVD. I still want to own it. Um, this has got to be maybe my favorite, second favorite uh, Marvel show. So Daredevil would be my first. Jessica Jones, considering I've only seen the first season, would probably be my third. And this has got to be my second favorite, which is Legion. I absolutely... Of live action shows. This show is trippy as heck. This is like what, eight episodes, I think this was. Yeah, eight episodes, and it comes with um, the Angriest Boy in the World book on two discs. This show is, oh man, I'm just going to show you a little bit more of the, the set. I absolutely love this show. I hope the second season gets released to Blu-ray, because um, I noticed... Fox has been not been doing D or Blu-rays anymore. Um, what was it? Uh, oh, Gifted didn't come to Blu-ray. And then... What was the other show? Uh, oh, American Horror Story. The seventh season didn't come to Blu-ray. It was just DVD. I'm hoping that's not what happens to this. Um, if it is, I'll buy the DVD. Um, but I'm hoping that they can do better with that. We got Luke Cage here on Blu-ray. I enjoyed the first half of this season. The second half I didn't care for. Spoiler alert. When they killed, I think his name is Blood Diamond. No, Cottonmouth. When they killed Cottonmouth, I didn't... After after he dies, it was... They should have ended the series. Man-Thing. 
Um, underrated horror movie. Cheesy B-movie fun. Nick Fury and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, with starring David Hasselhoff. This is intriguing, to say the least. I haven't watched this yet, but this is Phineas and Ferb Mission Marvel. I just have it because it's Marvel. Ah, everything's falling. This is what happens when you don't stack things well. All right. Continuing on, we have the Punisher stuff. Punisher with Dolph Lundgren. Thomas Jane, the Punisher. Um, pu the Punisher with, uh, this is the same movie. This is the extended cut. And then Punisher Warzone. I like the John Travolta Punisher, um, but I kind of like this a little bit more. I don't know. I like the zaniness of this movie. And once again, I haven't seen the Punisher series. I enjoyed Punisher and Daredevil. Haven't seen the series. Hoping that it'll get a Blu-ray release or a season release of it. Yeah, Spider-Man. Moving on to Spider-Man. We have the first three, Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 in this cool Digi book. I've bought these movies too many times. This is the only version I own of it now. Then we have the Amazing Spider-Man movies. Once again, I already had... Oh, and I bought this. Because it had the Spider-Man 3 editor's cut. I wanted to check it out. I haven't even checked it out yet. I've owned this set for like almost two years. Or I owned it whenever it came out. Which I think was like a year and a half ago, I guess. But... But uh, that's what I bought this for, and I haven't even checked that out yet. And then, I just kind of wanted to get this just to be the companion piece to that. I enjoy these movies, The Amazing Spider-Man. I really like the second one. Um, the first one is okay. I, I enjoy the second one. So, And then we have Spider-Man Homecoming. This is that Target ex exclusive edition. I thought this was a digibook, and it wasn't. So I'm kind of disappointed uh, with this, but... in here oh no. so I was kind of a little bit disappointed with this um, but it is what it is and I also have for whatever reason I've got two copies of that movie I've got the standard this is unopened though this is still sealed um, I got the standard one so the standard release but this comes with like a whole bunch of great extra features it's got an entire bonus disc so that's why I got it and then we got uh, the Spider-Man 67 collection. Um, honestly, I've only seen like the first disc of this or the first couple of discs. I don't really need to see the whole thing. I will at some point, um, but this is worth having. And I love um, the artwork on it. And I love the fact that it's in this red case. Um, that's all there really is to show with that. I enjoy it. Get another drink here. Okay, so this is a bootleg. I'm not going to lie. This is a bootleg. Um, I've been waiting for this season or this show to be released on Blu-ray or DVD in a complete series time and time and time again. Um, but it hasn't. I have the DVDs, just not on me right now. I have the five volumes that they've released. And that is Spider-Man, the 1994 animated series. Once again, this is a bootleg. Um, I, I can't even remember where I got this or, or how I came across this. Um, I'm sure if I thought hard enough, I could probably remember. Um, but that's Spider-Man, the animated series. Uh, the 1994 series. Um, even though it's a bootleg, honestly, I could almost be convinced that this was... They still smell weird. Uh, I could almost be convinced that this was actually produced by an actual studio because the content on here, um, it looks high definition. It is a fantastic upscale and it looks great. It sounds great. Um, but this is Spider-Man, the animated series um, on Blu-ray. Bootleg, I know it's bad, but I did own the actual volumes of the show, the five volumes, which was like Daredevil, the Venom Saga, uh, it was like a Green Goblin one, the Ultimate Villain Showdown, or the Return of the Green Goblin or something like that. Or I think there was a Doc Ock one. So I own the five or maybe six volumes. Um, but they're currently in a 
bag of other movies that I own. Um, they're all DVDs because I upgraded them to Blu-ray. It's currently in a bag of unneeded DVDs that are sitting at my grandpa's, which is two hours away. So, Spider-Man, the new animated series. Um, this is with Neil Patrick Harris. I've only seen like the first episode. It's a little weird. I'll get to it eventually. An underrated series, The Spectacular Spider-Man. I loved this series. This is probably my, it would have been my favorite Spider-Man series. I had it been able to complete its series. There's supposed to be a couple more seasons to the show. Um, the animated series, the 94 series is my favorite. But I think had this had the chance to finish itself, this probably would have been my favorite. But I absolutely love this and the animation. And then it got canceled for this dumpster fire, Ultimate Spider-Man. And this is just a collection of episodes. We haven't even gotten the entire series on DVD here. So what the heck, Disney? What the heck? We got Agent of Sword, Spider-Woman. And then we're moving on. We have the first season of the Superhero Squad show in four volumes. The Superhero Squad show, volume one. This is Quest for the Infinity Sword. Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. Um, I used to watch, I've seen episodes of this show um, on TV. Uh, it's it's alright, it's kind of weird, but it kind it kind of works for me. It's just, it's just fun, I think. Kid-friendly fun. And we got Season 2, which is the Infinity Gauntlet. So... Season, volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4, and that's the whole show. Um, and I think they're fairly cheap. I think you can get these for like 5 a piece. And they've got like 6 or so episodes on them, so. We got Thor, Tales of Asgard. Another animated movie. Haven't watched it yet. We got the Thor movie. Haven't seen this on Blu-ray. I've seen the movie, but haven't seen it on Blu-ray. We got Thor The Dark World. I got this from my Uncle Ken. Um, it's a rough movie. <laughs> it's alright though. And then maybe one of my favorite entries into the cinematic universe. My uncle does not care for it. Thor Ragnarok. He doesn't like what they did to the story from the comic itself. I enjoyed it because I was entertained. And I was kind of in a rough patch um, a year ago. And this brought a lot of enjoyment and entertainment to my life. And I find it funny every time it's on. We got Thor and Loki, Blood Brothers. Another motion comic that I haven't gotten to. And then, rest in peace, Stan Lee. Here is a documentary of him with great power, the Stan Lee story. I got this for like a buck or two bucks at a, like at a thrifty white, um, I'm happy to have that. Moving on, we have X-Men Origins, Wolverine. Um, oh, and as of the recording of this video, Venom is not yet out on Blu-ray, so I do not have that. Just saying in case. But we have X-Men Origins, Wolverine. It's a rough movie. Um, I might crap on it. I don't. Th it might not be as bad as I think everybody says, but it's still not all that good. The Wolverine. Underrated. I really like this. Once again, my uncle doesn't care for this because he doesn't like what they've done uh, to the comic source. But I enjoyed it as an entertaining film. And then we have maybe one of my favorite Marvel films of all time, Logan. There's not much to say about that. It's just fantastic. Wolverine and the X-Men. I recently finished this um, maybe a month ago. Um, I saw the whole show. Another show that it stops when it's getting really good. When it gets really good, that's when it stops, um, which is unfortunate, but I enjoy it. Wolverine, the anime, I've seen like the first couple of episodes. It's okay. The Wolverine Collection, this is the motion comic series, which includes Wolverine Origins, Ultimate Wolverine vs. Hulk, Wolverine Weapon X, Tomorrow Dies Today, Wolverine vs. Sabretooth, and Wolverine vs. Sabretooth Reborn. That's that. Then we have the X-Men Trilogy. 
with X Men. Yeah, let me. X Men. X Men The Last Stand. Or X Men 2, X Men United, and X Men The Last Stand. First one is good. Second one is fantastic. The third one is rough. Moving on, we have X Men First Class, which is great. Um, X Men Days of Future Past, which is a phenomenal. And then I have, of course, the real cut of the film. And I don't really have a preference to either cut. I, I like them both. And then, I don't think this is as bad as everybody says. I was still entertained. Yes, there's issues with the film and there's plot holes. But I, was, I still enjoyed it. X-Men Apocalypse. And I don't know why Dark Phoenix, X-Men Dark Phoenix, is just apparently now called Dark Phoenix. And we're not even getting it until like the end of the summer now. Of next year. That upsets me. Alright. Or maybe maybe not that far. I don't know. It just upsets me. X-Men Volume 1. This is the 90s series. The only one with a slip cover. And I love that slip. Volume 2. I've only seen a couple episodes of the show. Volume 3. Volume 4, and Volume 5. I enjoyed it, though. And then we've got X-Men X -Men Evolution, which is by far got to be one of my favorite animated uh, Marvel series. Uh, I'm so bummed out that this um, doesn't have a complete release. But what I do have is Season 1, Volume 1, Season 1, Volume 2, Season 1, Volume 3. Season 1, Volume 4. And then we've got Season 2, Volume 1. Season 2, Volume 2. Season 2, Volume 3. And Volume 4. Because there's four seasons of the show. Then we have Season 3, the complete series. And unfortunately, we're missing the fourth season which is like only a few episodes i've got it on my playstation so i can i can still watch it um it's downloaded to my system but still wish there was a physical release because i love physical media then we have x-men the anime and finally we have the astonishing x-men which is another motion comic and it includes gifted dangerous torn and unstoppable and then we got some imprints, Marvel products, but they're not really based on Marvel Comics. We have Kick-Ass. Kick-Ass 2. Um, I enjoy both. Kingsman, The Secret Service. And The Golden Circle. And then we have Men in Black. Men in Black 2. Men in Black 3. And then I just kind of threw this in because I have it. Um, and that's Stanley's Mighty Seven Beginnings. Which is I don't know, kind of a weird show. Alright, 33 minutes in and finally we're done. That's the complete Marvel Blu-ray DVD collection that I have. Um, please let me know if I've missed, other than what I know I'm missing. Let me know if I'm missing anything else that has been released here in America. As of December 3rd I think it is. Uh, because I'd like to get it and, and add it to this collection. Uh, comment below, let me know what you guys think of this. And um, let's just have a discussion in the comments. Alright, till next time guys. Adios.